Raptors newly acquired point guard Dennis Schroeder had some very interesting comments as to why he left the LA Lakers this summer to join the Toronto Raptors. So we'll discuss that, including a trade that has some Toronto Raptors fans perplexed as the rights to Jeff Doughton Jr. have been dealt to the Philadelphia 76ers. So we'll break down what impact this could have on Jeff Doughton's future with the Toronto Raptors and Former Toronto Raptor ended up signing in Europe. So lots of stuff to break down there. Before we jump into that, we have very exciting announcements. We have a giveaway happening with you guys as this video is brought to you by Rentals.ca. And Rentals.ca is Canada's largest apartment hunting network. And you can rent houses, condos, apartments. You've been watching the videos of the summer. You know the drill. Rentals.ca has you covered from coast to coast all across the country. Their website, it's clean, it's easy to use. You can drop exactly the location you want to rent on on their map app and then find the perfect rental for you. Well, Rentals.ca not only delivers the rentals, delivers all the best properties, well, they also are giving back to you folks as well, as they have a massive giveaway plan to where if you check out the pinned comment of this video or the link in the description, you have a chance to win a month's free rent. That's right, all you have to do is sign up down to those links, enter their giveaway, and then Rentals.ca could be paying a month's free rent for you folks. Upwards of 2,500 bucks ended up in your pocket. However much your rent is there, all you have to do is be over 18 years old sign up in the links down below and potentially win some free cash so shout out to rentals.ca for supporting the channel supporting you guys with this giveaway and hopefully one of the listeners wins so definitely make sure to sign up down in the pin comment or in the description of this video well let's dive into the news because there's a lot of stuff happening as dennis schroeder ended up having a very some interesting comments on uh joining the toronto raptors and leaving the la lakers because la was a very Nice destination for Dennis last season, as obviously D'Angelo Russell was there and they picked up Gabe Vincent over the course of the offseason. But come playoff time, Dennis Schroeder established himself as the starting PG for that LA Lakers squad that ended up making the conference finals. So he was questioned by Malika Andrews why he ended up leaving the LA Lakers, leaving LeBron, leaving, you know, Hollywood to join the Toronto Raptors, who are currently kind of a middle of the pack team. Well, Schroeder had some very interesting comments, and this is something we knew, the relationship he had, but basically he came out and said that I think Darko Ryakovich, the head coach, uh, met him five years ago in Oklahoma City. We became friends, and I definitely said to my agent, I want to be there. I think that's a great fit so Dennis Schroeder and why he left the LA Lakers with the Toronto Raptors this summer and this is a relationship we knew about with Darko Ryakovich and all that type of stuff but the way the question was framed and all that makes it seem like Darko was a big draw for Dennis and this is something that's very encouraging as we saw during uh the FIBA World Cup Dennis Schroeder has had some uh run-ins with his coaches and stuff with the coach grabbing his arm and all that going back and forth there but Schroeder more importantly is being the the point guard for this team. Whether or not Scotty's sort of the lead ball handler, Dennis Schroeder's the most established natural PG we currently have on this roster. And we saw the leadership ability he was able to provide for Team Germany throughout this FIBA World Cup, and not just the production on the court, right? We knew Dennis Schroeder could play, he could hoop, he could be a really strong guard for us, but regardless of what you think of Fred Van Vliet, regardless how you view his leadership style, Fred Van Vliet was sort of the top dog in the locker room last season. Him, Pascal Siakam, they were the vets, they were the champions, all that that type of stuff and with him gone we need someone to sort of step into that leadership vacuum and regardless of again you want him to be like Fred Van Vliet or not we need someone to really take ownership as a guy that can command this team you know have a good relationship with the coach be the PG out there on the floor that commands what the coach is trying to say so the fact that Dennis Schroeder has a very strong relationship with Darko Ryakovich means he's going to come in he's going to buy in he believes in the fit he believes in this system and he also talked about how it's a great fit we already knew this we've talked about this to death we have a hole at the point guard position right now so it makes sense for Schroeder trying to slide in there but you know, it's just really nice to see free agents that are out there on the open market that get pulled to the Toronto Raptors just be extremely excited. Now, it's not, you know, the big, massive fish, right? We're not landing. Dennis Schroeder's not a super max guy, you know, one of the top 10 players in the NBA, but he's a very solid piece that is encouraged to come to the Toronto Raptors on not an insane contract, right? We didn't have to overpay to bring in Schroeder. So the fact that he's bought in, he has a really strong relationship with the coach, and he's just ready to roll, excited to be in Toronto, 
makes me excited given what we've seen he was able to do this summer with the team Germany squad winning the FIBA World Cup and running that group of legit NBA players. It wasn't like Schroeder was just out there, the de facto best player, the de facto leader. I mean, the Wagners were on that team, Tice is on that team, right? Germany had a lot of guys, Bonga, former Toronto Raptor, that were NBA caliber players and Schroeder really took on that leadership role. Even after the Maxi Kleba drama of the course of the summer, for people that don't remember, he had a little internet spout with Maxi Kleba and Kleba didn't end up playing for the team. The fact that he was able to bring that roster together is something that has me extremely excited. So hopefully him, Darko Rayalkovic can turn around the vibes for this upcoming season because that was the biggest issue with the Toronto Raptors last year. Not only was the, the product on the court just completely mid, the, the vibes around the locker room, people just didn't seem into it, right? There wasn't a real cohesiveness that we've usually seen with the Toronto Raptors teams over the past decade. So with Ryakovich as well as Dennis Schroeder coming into this mix, hopefully those vibes get back. And there's still a lot of talent on the Toronto Raptors. So, you know, if things sort of work out along those lines, we might be in for a little bit of a surprise season. So that's huge for the Toronto Raptors. But we have a little move that's made that has uh, some Toronto Raptors fans very confused as to what's going on as We'll break down the truth behind the Jeff Doughton Jr. trade. Now, Jeff Doughton Jr. is a guy that's been an interesting topic of discussion over the course of the summer because given his performance last season, given the comments from Masai Ujiri, Nick Nurse, before he ended up getting fired, right, the expectation was Jeff Doughton Jr. would be with the roster next year. And his two-way contract didn't get converted into an actual deal, but Doughton Jr. proved himself to be a solid NBA guard, a playable rotation piece, certainly in the NBA with his defense, with his playmaking ability, right? Just make some really good decisions. And his jump shot isn't horrible by any means. He's a great floater. He's a dude that showed himself to be a get, deserving of a legitimate shop, at least as a backup point guard for this upcoming year. Well, yesterday, some people got scared because uh, it looked like basically the Delaware Bluecoats ended up putting out this saying, thank you, Matt McClung, for an incredible season in Delaware. And this is the Sixers G League affiliate. But the Jel Delaware Blue Jackets have acquired uh, the returning player rights to Jeff Doughton Jr. and their second round pick via Motor City in the 2024 uh, G League draft uh, in exchange for Matt McClung. Now, Matt McClung is another big name, which uh, had this tweet sort of going around. So Matt McClung is going to the Orlando Magic G League affiliate. And Jeff Doughton Jr. is a guy that's going to be now for the Philadelphia 76ers. So firstly, there's a lot of confusion going on because the G League rights are different from the NBA stuff. So Jeff Downton Jr.'s rights were never with the Toronto Raptors. They were with the Orlando Magic. The reason he played for the Raptors 905 was because he was a two-way player for the Toronto Raptors. So basically, one, we're not getting Matt McClung back. He's not a guy that's going to be in the Raptors organization. He's going down to the Orlando Magic. But two, Jeff Downton Jr., this has zero impact in terms of his ability to make the roster for this upcoming season. Blake Murphy breaks it down pretty well, saying um, Jeff Downton Jr.'s G League rights were traded from uh, Lakeland and Del uh, from Lakeland to Delaware, no Raps impact. Uh, this just is an event if the Toronto Raptors cut him, that he goes uh, to the G League, and now he'll be with the Sixers G League affiliate rather than the Magic. He played for the 905 as a two-way, as I just briefly mentioned. So, basically... The reason the Philadelphia 76ers trade away Matt McClung, who is a solid G League piece. I mean, talking to Sean Casey down on the Sixers Digest, definitely they broke down this uh, trade as well over there. So shout out to Sixers Digest. But basically, Matt McClung is a very strong piece, a great prospect. We saw him in the dunk contest, a fan favorite, all that type of stuff, right? He was dealt away, but they did this to acquire Jeff Downton Jr. So that might be an expectation, an indication that they believe Jeff Downton Jr. will end up in the G League. If they're going to give up that valuable of a G League asset in order to, uh, you know, potentially acquire his rights. And I don't know. The Toronto Raptors have a very difficult decision to make because, again, I've been extremely high on Jeff Downton Jr. The expectations for a lot of this year was that there were going to be some moves made, which inevitably led to some roster spots opening up. But that hasn't been the case, and Downton Jr., who currently is on an unguaranteed deal, and we currently have 15 guys under guaranteed contracts, so there's no more two-way spots left for the Toronto Raptors, as those spots have all been filled as well this summer, so Jeff Downton Jr. is looking to be the odd man out coming into training camp, but again, he was a guy that didn't have many expectations last season, proved himself at the end of the year to be the guy that most Toronto Raptors fans wanted to be in the lineup when, you know, the backup point guard, when Malachi Flynn, Delano Banton, really every other option we've had the point guard position just wasn't really panning out. So 
Maybe he'll shock everyone and sort of roll like this, but it seems like the Sixers, if they're willing to give up Matt McClung, they may know something we don't, and uh, he might be on his way out. And as people know, former Toronto Raptors coach Nick Nurse ended up uh, becoming the head coach of the Philadelphia 76ers, so he might have uh, some actual insights in terms of what the Toronto Raptors' plans are for Jeff Downey Jr., and seemed like a guy that won over Nick Nurse a little bit by the end of last season, so... Maybe Nick Nurse is trying to make some preemptive sort of chess moves to bring Jeff Downton Jr. to Philadelphia. All the more reason not to let him get cut. But let me know what you guys think about Jeff Downton Jr. Do you think he'll be on the roster of this upcoming season? Let me know in the comment section below. But the final thing we'll discuss in this video is uh, Serge Ibaka signing over in Europe. As uh, news came out today, you know, Toronto Raptors legend Serge Ibaka ended up signing with Bayern Munich. Now, I looked at this first and I thought that might have been the soccer club. You know, it's a, uh, you know kind of crazy to, to sort of look at right but uh they have a, a basketball team too euro basket all that type of stuff but uh you know shout out to Serge Ibaka still hooping still playing only 33 years old again a guy him Bismack Biombo, those two dudes are guys I wouldn't mind having on the Toronto Raptors bench probably more than like a Garrett Temple or one of these guys but I don't know let me know what you guys think about uh Serge all this Toronto Raptors news subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already and as I mentioned at the beginning Definitely uh, check out those links down below for a free potential giveaway, you know, going for free rent for you. But anyways, I'm signing out. Cheers.